Oh, hello there, YouTube. It's Nick Nevin. The chicken of Seacliff. <laughs> Le flesh. Chicken spell. Healing spell. No, I'm serious. You know I'm crazy. <laughs> but I'm not that crazy. I'm doing a healing for an entire family. This lovely family is mama, baby, and grandbaby. <laughs> and this is uh, my crazy chicken here, my crazy bird, my fetch, who is going to drive the curse off of these people to cleanse them once and for all, to heal them, because they've all had spiritual attacks and uh, symptoms. Yes, it's a thing. And that is a thing. This is an actual bird skull. The feathers I found at the beach, and it's full of salt water and sand. So it's a very protective bird. And it flew off wildly tonight. I have to tell you the story. I'll stop with the shaking of the rattles now. I'll tell you the story though. I created the bird to go after any evil spirits, any evil doing, any evil malicious ghosts, curses, hexes, jinxes that may have been put on this family. And what I do is I give it my own energy to go do my bidding, to go get whoever put the curse on them. But that is already taken care of. Because after I did their first spell, the person who they thought put the curse on them is going to jail. Hmm. This stuff works. But I have to protect them still. And that's what I have going on here. They are in a ring of protection. And I have my fetch going out to clean up anything else that might be harming them or causing them ill health from having a curse put on them. And oh, I have so many things <laughs> to show you tonight. I hope I have enough time. But I, I started the spell. I. I created my my bird fetch and the reason I used a bird was my my fairy godmother sent me another package and it is totally amazing she sent me her and her friend Edna <laughs> I don't think Edna would mind if I use her name nobody knows who she is but my friend CK has a friend who has family in Algiers in New Orleans and she went to visit and my friend <laughs> CK gave her a bunch of bags to collect things and she came back with the most wonderful things from New Orleans now they're as CK says they're simples they're simple things like salt and cinnamon that I have here and I'll tell you about this big mess back there in a minute but there's they're simple things to get rid of evil. So this is a garden mint. And I don't know if you could see it here, what it says. She wrote down what it's for. But it was grown to undo enemy tricks and bad uh, luck root work. So it's a strong protecting, um, penetrating protection from cross conditions. So, wow, I like that. So we're doing some hoodoo back on whoever did the hoodoo on them. And why I was so excited to get this package today is because my client, her, um, the mother, is her family is from Louisiana. So I was so excited to get this New Orleans package with all these cool things. Um, this is La Fleche Cascarilla. And so this is um, 
<coughs> eggshells, you know, that you can get in the Botanica. They make cascaria. It hasn't been made into cascaria yet, but it's protective eggshells from a very special chicken called Le Fleche. And Le Fleche is French uh, chicken, a chicken from France that is very kind of wild, <laughs> a wild chicken, a very kind of fierce, wild, um, crazy chicken. That's why I had to, whoops, I had to use my, my rattles that look like chicken's claws. <laughs> because I was thinking about when I saw this, I'm like, I have to use this in my spell tonight. And then it inspired me to create a fetch that was a bird. And on top of it, it's Wednesday. So Wednesday, you can really do any spell on a Wednesday, uh, any type of spell, good or bad. And so I didn't think I'd have time on Sunday to do the spell because I like to do healing spells on Sundays. So I thought, great, I'll use it on the day of Mercury <laughs> and I'll use a bird to um, to get the job done quickly and boy when I created it it didn't look like this I had it draped in this long tissue paper that was white and it looked very healing almost like an angel and I was uh, putting all my ingredients together, creating the spell, getting the energy up. And I took the chicken and I was speaking my intentions on it, telling it what it needed to do. I was getting all revved up. And all of a sudden, <laughs> I had a little candle far away from it. But somehow that bird caught on fire. And look, it looks like feathers the way it burnt. <laughs> I had to throw sand on it. This is why I keep sand. I actually keep a bag of sand. I kid you not. I keep a big bag of sand next to me because of fire. Instead of throwing water on it, you throw sand and it puts the fire right out, especially if there's oils and stuff. So my bird, my mercury bird that wants to go and do my bidding for me, reacted immediately with the flame and I put it out with the sand and it looks like this and I'm like oh that's something special <laughs> that happened there that is something really special it wanted to work and it wanted to go in a big way it wanted to fly away in a very big way and let me know that it is working it's on the job it was excited it had so much power and energy, and I was just, sometimes I wish people could, um, there could be a camera on me when I'm creating spells, because so many really synchronistic uh, events happen that most people wouldn't believe, but whatever. So let me tell you more about the things I got. So I got the mint, I used that, um, I put that on them and around the plate, I, what you do with the cascarilla is you mix it with sea salt. Where's the sea salt? Well, she has some blessed sea salt. And you have to recite the Psalms over it. And you mix this with the cascarilla together in your mortar and pestle, which I did. And I put that around the plate and I put it on them. You know, it, it kind of fell off, but you could see there's a little bit of it on them. I didn't get it down to a fine powder, but it's all in there. It's all good. Um, she gave me these little peppers uh, that are supposed to, where's my pepper bag? These are supposed to be really intense too, that gets the job done fast. I think that's what set the bird off because I had all these peppers around. I have a big pepper under here and the pepper is tied up oops it's tied up it has citrine on it citrine also works spells really fast I have amethyst here for healing because they got sick you know the two mamas got sick and the the baby is was having trouble too so they were having 
um, spiritual symptoms of cross conditions. So this, these peppers, these are potent little things. They make the spell work fast and I just feel they're gonna, I know they're gonna feel so much better. Um, these, these women with their baby and um, what else do I have here? There's so many things that I used. Oh, what I also wanted to tell you about, ooh, she also gave me these great beeswax candles. I love beeswax and you know, they're so expensive that, you know, I should really try to make them, but I'm just not the, I just don't have the time to be making candles along with all the things I make. But um, I love beeswax and I rarely get to use real beeswax candles. And I think um, the energy of mercury, the yellow bees are very busy and very fast. And I just think all of this is going together really well. In the glass here, I have storm water from the last um, super full moon that we had in March. Um, a couple weeks ago, a week ago, <clears throat> can't even remember, a week ago, but it, it stormed here. So I collected the storm water and I used that on the candles as well to fight evil, to go at this, to make this spell work really fast. I also have in here my uh, bear foot. I'm using a lot of animals in the spell, the bear and the tiger. There's a tiger on this side. Um, he's over here. If I can get in. Oh, well, you know what a tiger looks like, but I put the energy of a tiger and a bear for protection. And where are you? Oh, okay. Right there is the tiger. So they are being protected big time. And the other thing I did, um, this looks kind of disgusting, but it's just olive leaf powder mixed with olive oil. So it looks like mud. And I put, I took um, leaves from my stargazer lilies, the, the leaves, not the petals, but when they, all the petals fell off, when they fell off, I, I saved the leaves because that's very healing. Lilies are healing and the stargazer is so magnificent. I'm like, oh, this has good magical energy to me. So I wrapped them with the olive oil and olive leaf powder mixture, along with some salt for protection and healing. And I wrapped each candle with you know this muddy looking leaf it looks really disgusting but you put it in like a paste and I wrap it around the candles and then I tie it with some natural twine and uh, I also put you know the the salt and herbs that were in this mixture I put it on them they were the candles were blessed cleansed before I used them and I also Ooh, I just saw a little orb. And I also forgot what I was going to say. Bless, cleanse them, inscribe them with their names and their birth dates so we know who's getting healed. Oh, the other interesting thing that CK sent me was um, uh, these two incense incenses. So one is the Kama Sutra. It's by Hem, you know, the brand Hem. So there's um, Chandon is one of them on the left and the Karma Sutra is on the other. And she said, she writes little notes on everything. I love it. She explains everything. She's such a good witch. She knows everything and she's my fairy godmother. Um, everybody needs a mentor, <laughs> even old witches like me. <laughs> um, so she said, this incense is preferred by many New Orleans uh, practitioners, especially those who 
read smoke. And she told me of a website to look up and I looked it up and I've never read the smoke. I take pictures of my smoke and um, lots of times I can see spirits in the smoke. So I find it very interesting to watch the smoke and take photographs of it and see what happens. And <clears throat> the interesting thing is I read that if your smoke, if you um, light your incense in a room and it just goes straight up, it means you have a very dense negative um, condition going on um, in your home. So it kind of means like you got some negative shit in there. So if it comes up like clouds, puffs like that, like it's doing, it means it's a um, very good condition. But I've seen my, I've seen at other times my incense going straight up like that. So now I know it means that you got some negative spirits around. So I'm going to keep an eye on that. I think that's really interesting. And I have lots of incense going on. And it smells so good here. So yeah, and the other thing I read is that if your smoke goes to the right, blows to the right, and there's no fan here. Um, there's no fan going on. This one's going up a little straight right now. Mm, it's okay. But I put the incense by them and it was all going to the right. And they say if your incense blow to the right, it means that like your spell is working, whatever you're doing is working out well. So I thought that was good. And if it goes to the left, it means something's, something's going wrong. So it's something interesting for any of you that practice witchcraft. See which way your smoke is going. See, it's going to the right. It means we got good unhexing, getting rid of those crossed conditions, healing them. I heal them, I heal them, I heal, I heal you, I heal you. The spirits heals you. You're blessed. I bless them all. The goddesses blessings and um, I think they're going to be feeling much better and I'm really happy because I know this stuff is working. It's working well. I'm very excited and I really love this bird. <laughs> I love this fetch. He's so cool looking and I just found these wings last week down at the beach and it's kind of gross to pick up bird wings but it was it's actually one big wing. I couldn't resist taking it. I said, oh, this is going to be good for some spell. And then it just occurred to me to make it into a fetch. My fetch is working. Oh, there's also uh, Mar Marie Laveau. Her, um, she gave me a picture. Let me see if I can get a closer view. A picture of her, um, her grave site. That's a cemetery where she's buried. And that was interesting too before because when I was working the spell, the light was going through my crystal ball and it was going right on her tomb. So I thought, oh, maybe the word's out. <laughs> Word is out. Uh, McNevin is working some hoodoo. Hold on, I just lost my cigarette. I smoke these things, the fake cigarettes. Ah, so I'm just really excited tonight. So let me tell you more about this. <laughs> if you're not sick of me yet. Um, I put bay leaves. Those are from New Orleans as well. And all these things um, were grown in people's gardens. And uh, I just wrote bless and heal each one of them. And uh, yeah, they have the leaves. Just looking at what else I can show you. I got the cinnamon I used on it. Again, from New Orleans. And this is for purification and protection. 
So everything's from New Orleans. I'm just so excited because CK, um, she will give me candles and she gives me so much. She sends me these amazing packages. I'm just so overjoyed. I'm so happy when I get them. <laughs> I love her packages and she will, you know, cleanse the items and she does a lot of work on them. So I always feel like when you work with another practitioner in that way, when they give you things, it's, it's going to work. I always feel like two witches working together or three working together. Even if we're not together, her energy is on the candles, her energy making up the bags and her friend's energy collecting it. I feel like three witches worked on this. I don't know if her friend's a witch or not, but she went to the spiritual places to pick up these things for me and her friend CK. And it's just, I mean, look at, they label everything. CK labels everything. And um, it's just so much fun to get her packages. And, oh, I also use the black pepper. Um, she gives me all this information. It's just so much fun to get her packages and to use all these things. Oh, there's just so many things. The basil. This is all from someone's garden. So yeah, they're, they're typical things that um, we all use. Some not so typical. I'll have to tell you as I use them. Oh, I used um, some gray salt. This one I didn't use yet, but it's uh, protection salt, cell gris with turmeric, and there's cell, uh, what is this one? The gray, gray salt. And this one is for uncrossing. Um, this sends negativity back to the universe, wherever it comes from, you can send it back. And when you use the gray salt, you don't get any repercussions, so it's great for uh, for practitioners, witches, and um, oh, she gave me a cowrie shell necklace that was um, owned by two separate um, New Orleans practitioners. It was, I guess, handed down and then given to me, and I'm wearing it now. I can't show you because I'm not showing my face. <laughs> but I'm telling you, this spell went wild tonight. And um, I'm gonna have to take this outside because I think when those burn up, it's I'm gonna have a big flame. I'm gonna take my sand and go outside under the moonlight. It's actually pretty nice out. Um, it's a little windy, I think, but not too bad. Here, in New York. So all the things from Louisiana is up here in New York working. I got a lot of cool vibes. I'm feeling powerful with my necklace, my cowrie shell necklace, and all my Nolan's products. I just, thank you CK. I hope you see this video. I am just blown away. She blows me away every time. Oh my God, and everything smells so good. Roses, I mean, these are all, um, this is the rose used in Marie Laveau's, uh, I can't read in the dark. Uh, this is from Marie Laveau's famous Fleur Tincture. Mm, they smell so good. And she got me some lavender that smell the, the package just smells amazing. Now here are the courtyard bay leaves. I mean everything is right from New Orleans, from people's gardens and uh, I'm just I'm gonna have to show you as I go because this is getting to be a long video, but I want to thank you, CK and Edna. You you ladies are amazing. I'm so happy and I'm so thankful and my clients are going to be thankful because they're going to be so happy that this worked so well for them. So thank you and I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll show you that some more of the things I got and how I'm going to use them. I have, I have a huge box of things. 
it's it's so exciting i don't think i'm gonna be able to sleep tonight all right everyone have a great evening bye bye